If Taiwan is considered the ultimate foodie paradise, then Tainan is where the real magic happens, the capital of legit traditional Taiwanese flavors. We spent three amazing days in the city, and let me tell you, this statement is spot on. So, welcome to our exciting Tainan travel vlog, and let's explore the tasty wonders this city has to offer. The shoes of us on the boom box Weather never too hot Little breeze is all I need and off to the what about starting the vlog this way? Hello <laughs> so guys, so we are now in Tainan um, and we're gonna check into our hotel first so see you guys later oh, no And on our first day in Tainan, we might have found one of the most unique Airbnbs we've ever stayed at. The moment I laid my eyes on the lush greenery surrounding the old house, with sunlight streaking through the leaves, I was just completely mind blown. Despite being a fairly old building with around half a century's history, the interior is equally spectacular, remarkably well maintained. From the antique objects to the hand-painted patterns on the wall, every single detail feels like a piece of art. Hello guys, welcome back to a new video and it's already getting pretty dark so we are out hunting for dinner we're going to this noodle shop which has been recommended by five friends of ours um, so it sounds very legit and we're gonna go check it out on our way to the noodle place we were literally too hungry so we had to make a quick stop at this highly rated mochi shop mine is the salted egg with taro paste and renting got the peanut flavor let's see how it tastes Ooh. Wow. wow. Wow, the taro is really thick. Ooh. Let's go buy one more. Yeah. <laughs> Two more secured. So we got one more tiramisu flavor, um, and mine is with milk tea. This is tiramisu flavor. Mm. So we came to this EU noodle shop, um, we ordered one with soup and the other one is the stir fry EU noodle. Both look super good. Mm. Just finished our first round of dinner, now we're headed to the next restaurant which specializes in small pork tanzai noodles. That's literally like the translation of Kukumas, but um, let's see how it is. So this is the small portion of the tanzai noodles with some pork and shrimp on top. And we also ordered some veggies, octopus, and this is the very special dish, which is duck butt mixed with rice. So it's kind of like rice cake, but there is duck butt in it. Okay, I guess that's enough savory food for the night. So now it's time for dessert. So, yep, we're getting shaved ice, and just look at the amount of ice that we have. 
it's insane. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. How can we get the ingredients at the bottom? Oh my gosh, my mouth is a little like frozen right now because um, the ice is just too cold. Um, yeah, I really cannot talk. So we're at this traffic light and then we saw this humongous billboard. The language is a little bit profane, I would say. Where is renting leading us to? Is he trying to get us kidnapped? Oh, is it here? Oh. Oh wow. It really does feel like a home. No wonder it's called Bar Home. Oh, we will see. Oh. Oh, this is wow, they even give us free shot um, for this cocktail that we ordered, which is called Ooh. So strong. And we also ordered their whiskey pudding, which is very creative. Blue cheese flavored vodka based cocktail. Um, which smells really interesting, like it really smells like sweet potato fries for some reason. Hello guys, good morning. So this is our day two in Tainan and we are now going to a super super local breakfast place to have some authentic Tainan food. And according to my Taiwanese friends, apparently the braised pork rice is cooked differently in different places. For example, here in Tainan, the pork is of bigger chunks instead of minced meat. And I feel like the funny thing about their yotel is that they also put some pork gravy on top of it. Um, so it looks a little bit soggy, but also more savory. Well, I guess my first impression of Tainan is just that this place is super down to earth. You can really feel that traditional culture continues to thrive here with tons of food options and cultural heritage. And it also feels super artsy, like you can see so many coffee shops by the street and I just really enjoy the vibes here. And actually we're going to a coffee shop which is literally like in the middle of this residential area. Okay, I guess we found it. <laughs> And in Tainan, there are so many houses with like such entrance and I just feel like it's super aesthetic like I want to have a lot of plants in front of my house in the future as well We're 
now at Tainan Art Museum because we feel like the first part of this vlog is all about eating. Um, so we probably should do something just a little bit different. Um, and the architecture is super cool. So let's check out the inside. Yeah, and this is a very creative way of making the map A, B, and now let's go see C. When you're in Taiwan, you definitely have to have bubble tea every single day. So we're checking out this very iconic boba tea shop called Da Ming, and we ordered their, um, I think, one of the most signature milk tea. Ooh. And we are now at this place called the Snail Alley, Wo Niu Xiao. There are a lot of shops and cafes by the street. Oh, it looks super chill here. And we're gonna try out their egg rolls. So we secured a box of peanut flavored egg rolls. And we stumbled across this clothing store. Um, so basically there is like literally like no staff here. If you wanna like get any of these clothes, you just you know put the money inside and take the clothes with you. Super random, but um, we just stumbled across this sushi shop, which is literally called the one square meter sushi shop because um, the storefront is very small. But the food, the sushi, looks super, super delicious. I can't believe I'm going to this restaurant that specializes in beef. Because just for context, I have beef allergy, but I think Renting is really craving for beef, so we're just gonna accommodate his request today. So let's see. Congratulations, Renting. You finally had a chance to have something beef during this trip, which looks good, to be honest. Do you miss the smell? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so I just ordered myself a bowl of braised pork rice. Still looks good. So we're now at Shennong Street, which is this landmark avenue dating from the Qing Dynasty. But the actual reason that we came here tonight is for this Isakaya restaurant, whose rating on Google Maps is literally 4.9 stars. So let's see if it's worth the hype. Last night in Taiwan. Oh. 
So beef day for you. <laughs> this is like a chicken version of Fogwa. Fogwa? No. And this is the spiced pork. And the portion is just absolutely humongous. We ordered two servings and it's a lot more than we expected. Okay. I totally lost count of how much food we consumed in Tainan in the past 24 hours. But guess what? We're going to our next food destination. So we're going to check out this restaurant that specializes in homemade spring rolls. And I feel like spring rolls here in Tainan are a little bit different from the spring rolls that we usually have. Because instead of fried spring rolls, here is more like a wrap. Um, so yeah, let's see how different it is. Don't you think it really feels like a burrito? <laughs> Taiwanese version of burrito. <laughs> Before we leave for the airport, we definitely have to come back to Taming to grab another cup of boba. Uh, still. And this one comes with milk foam. And I think there's some avocado base in it, which is very interesting. Avocado with black tea. Okay, so we're now at Kaohsiung International Airport. Um, should I tell the story like behind this like whole rescheduling and stuff? Okay, anyways, so um, basically we're gonna conclude our Taiwan trip. Um, it was a very, very amazing trip, I would say. We made it yeah, from we made Taipei it. to Taichung to, to like Wan San and then Samun Lake, and then we came all the way to Tainan and then Kaohsiung today. We check out like four cities. Yeah, four different cities. Yeah, so um, good job, we made it. We didn't miss any, any train. trains or flights. Okay, not yet. I hope you guys enjoy my Taiwan travel series. And if you do like the videos, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye!